Hi guys, welcome to your finest entrepreneur TV show, The Food and Fashion Show. I'm your host, Chinelo Ijiawo. If you have been watching the show, you would know it's been a roller coaster ride with the entrepreneurs because they led us into their habitats and then explain to us how they run their day-to-day -day business and also how they handle the challenges while facing those businesses. Today, we will be having a sit-down with the girls and chop goddess. Follow me guys, let's invade our home and watch how she does her stuff. Welcome to another beautiful episode of the Food and Fashion Show. I am your host, Chinele Ejiang, and I have with me today the goddess of Girls and Chop, Mrs. Bumi. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you too for having us in your home. How do you do? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Good. Ms. Mrs. Bumi, I would like you to tell us a little bit about yourself, about Bumi, not about your business, please. Okay, um, so my name is Bumi Adebuejo. Okay. I am a lawyer. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I have a degree in law from Birmingham City University. Okay, give me a high five. That's good. And masters in international business and commercial law from the University of Manchester. Small. <laughs> hey, Manchester, what? Manchester, yes. Okay. Um, I'm a mother. Oh, I'm a new mother. I just recently had the baby, okay. and um, and now a businesswoman. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Really happy you have us in your home. Thank you. Okay, Bumi. How did you start up this um, girls and shop business? Okay, um, so I was actively in the legal profession for about four years. Okay. And it was something that I really liked. I enjoyed um, what I was doing at that time. Then I had a baby. And coming back to work after three month maternity leave was very horrible because it meant that I was away from my baby for so long. So I just, one day told my husband that, you know what, I can't do this anymore, I'm going to quit my job. So I decided to quit my job and that was what I did. But two weeks after quitting my job, I started having this serious panic attack. Because um, even though my husband is working, but there was that financial uh, vacuum that was created by me quitting my job. Okay, okay so do you regret leaving your job? No, no, I don't. I mean, the, the the income you're getting from the chops and grill, I'm sure it's not as heavy as your legal job. So do you, by any chance, regret it? Okay, so um, the thing with my legal job was the uh, remuneration was stable. You know, at the particular time in the month, you would get your salary. At the particular time in the year, you would get your bonus. So it was stable. I could plan. We could travel. You know, we could say, okay, uh, we're going to use my husband's salary for fixed income, and would save mine, or maybe even spend mine on our food item. Yeah. So I think, uh, on the financial side, it has been, it was challenging when the business first started, but now that uh, the business has started, so far it has been good financially. So no, I've not regretted. Ever since you started my job. this business, what has been your challenges? Mm, I think it's getting people to take me seriously, you know, because um, a lot of my clients are friends and family okay. that I've always known Bumi, the lawyer. And so when you try to present yourself as uh, the new Bumi, the cook, the uh, small shop cook, um, the one that makes grill, it's very difficult for people to take me seriously, especially people that know me, that know when I started the business. So yes, I, I believe that that would be the biggest challenge, getting people to take me serious. So I would ask you, what motivates you to keep going? I would say two things. Uh, the first one being the fear of poverty. Ah, <laughs> I, honestly. Welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. I think for me that's like the major uh, uh, motivator, if I can use that word. Yeah. I'm just always scared of regretting leaving my job. People saying, oh, me, you had a great job that was giving you uh, good remuneration so why did you leave 
So I'm always scared of calling people to ask for money to beg. It's horrible. It's something that I never want to do. So for me, that's the major thing that motivates me to keep going. Then secondly, um, I have a baby girl and I would want her in the future to be able to look up to me and say that my mother is my role model. So when I see her, when I think about her, I just know that this is something that I have to continue doing and I have to do it well. That's good. Where do you see yourself in the next three years? Do you see yourself going back into the legal world? Probably combining both the legal world and your grills and chops or do you just want to focus and make this grills and chops really big? Um, I would like to make grills and chops really big but I am hoping that in the next three years it would get to a point where um, I would not have to be actively involved in the business. Okay. I'm hoping that um, I would have a very good structure that um, we can get, I can get people to join me in doing the business. As for the legal profession, I think once a lawyer, always a lawyer. You can never really fully leave the legal profession. Because even now in my personal capacity, I do a lot of consulting, a lot of uh, personal briefs, but I don't see myself going back into the legal profession fully anymore. I think um, I'm done with that life. I am now a businesswoman, so I would hope that I'm able to find a balance where I can combine both my business yeah. and the legal profession. Okay, um, before we continue, we're going to go on a short break. I have this very interesting question to ask you, but we'll have to keep it on hold and go on a short break. We will be right back. It's your life, just know it, just know it. Nigeria's first fully digital bank, Alas, powered by Wemma Bank. guys welcome back to your favorite show the food and fashion show i'm still here with mrs boomy yes mrs boomy so um the last question i was going to ask you is if i were to be looking up to you and i want to start up a business i have something very successful at the side i know it's not easy to just make up that mind mm. and be like let me just leave this one that is actually paying me right now and just start up a business i mean no, everybody knows it's not easy to start up a new business yeah. what will be your advice to me what i'm asking you basically is what is your high point for this your business that you will tell me to encourage me to be bold enough to start up this new business okay so my slogan is do it afraid do it scared but honestly just do it um before leaving my job and starting this business i had a substantial saving so <clears throat> i would advise anybody that wants to go into business to try and save as much as they can from their stable income and just do it basically and for me the high point of my business uh, was the time that i got 
a big job from a very close friend of mine to cater to our wedding. Yeah. You know, it was really amazing because I had not even finished training for the small chops and grill. Yeah. And it was really good that she trusted me to cater to our wedding and we did a fantastic job of it. So okay. that was high point. Oh, that's beautiful. One last question. Do you make much in this year business? What's your income like? How much do you put out and how much are you getting in? Okay, well, typically, um, what I do is if, let's assume hypothetically that my gain is 50%, I try to give a lot of discount as a marketing technique. So I would rather take 20% profit and give a 30% discount or do something extra for people's uh, parties to get them to come back than take 50% profit. But the business is not bad. It's financially rewarding as long as you um, get your client to keep coming back and to keep referring you. I am going to ask you, imagine I were to be your fairy godmother. Yeah, I look like one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Make a wish that can catapult your business to another level. I would wish that Dangote should use Chops and Crew Island for his next party. Oh, Dangote, if you're watching, please believe <laughs> it's available. Yeah. That, that's so beautiful. Okay, now the fun part. Now, note that this part the time is limited okay. you have very little time okay. to answer your questions so are you ready i am in 15 seconds market grills and chops to us okay well um chops and grill island is a let me continue i think you have like eight seconds give, give okay, me chops and grill island is amazing our products are locally sourced we do not use frozen products um, made, uh, okay, fast. that's a lot for you guys. They do not use um, what do you call it again? Frozen food. Frozen food. Yeah, so Everything organic is organic. Food. So you guys, uh huh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now to another fun part. We are going to ask you questions okay. that you don't get to answer with yes or no. Oh God. The moment you say yes or no, you failed. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you a man? I am not a man. Do you eat food? You have to be very fast. I eat food. Can you take food for lunch? Yes, I can. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was thinking we're going to take the trophy, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh -huh. Now, before I leave, mm -hmm. we at the Gallant Space TV, we always present our guests mm -hmm. with gifts. So appreciate them for bringing us into their workspace, Thank you. allowing us to take a little bit of their time. On behalf of um, Gallant Space, TV. I present to you this beautiful car. Oh my days! Thank you. This is really amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having Thank us. You. All right, guys. Until next time, you are watching the Food and Fashion Show. I'm still your host, Chinelo Ejiang. Thank you. Welcome to Mega Chicken, a new and exciting culinary experience where your food fantasies come to life. At Mega Chicken, our eclectic menu ensures that no matter what your food preferences are, you'll always find something that you and your family will love. From traditional Nigerian dishes to Chinese food to continental meals, pastries, snacks and much more, we've got you covered. Ample safe parking space at all our locations ensure that you never need to worry about where to park your car. Coming with your children? No problem! We've got a variety of games and activities to keep them entertained all day. Our fast and efficient customer service ensures that you are served on time and with a smile. What are you waiting for? Visit any Mega Chicken brand today. Mega Chicken. Food for the Royals.